So in this class, we are going to have a continuation from the flow diagram that we had in our previous case, which is the introduction, working with the flow diagrams. This is the part of your functions and relations. Given a function, we can be given uh, a condition like what we have uh, in these cases. For each of the following equations, given y is equal to 4x, y is equal to 2x plus 3, these are typical functions that you're given, just like f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Determine the output values corresponding to the input values where x is an element of these values from negative 2 up to positive 3. Corresponding to the input, to the input, these x values are input. And I talked about that uh, on the introduction that always x represents what? Uh, the input values. So meaning to say, in this case, we are given our input values from negative two up to three. So this is what you're going to do. You just construct a table uh, from negative two up to uh, positive three in terms of X and Y, all right? So remember the input values, it's X, then Y is the output, all right? So this is your input on top, then Y represents what? Uh, the output. So meaning to say Y is determined from X, y is determined from from x the values of x are the ones that you are going to use with those values we determine the y values all right so with our x values we are given from minus 2 so we're going to have minus 2 minus 1 we've got a 0 there a 1 a 2 and a 3 these are the input values that you're given the x values. So for these input values, we need to know what is going to correspond here. What is the what are the values that are going to be uh, on those y values that we are seeing? What is going to be the values here corresponding? For each input, if x is minus two, we need a value. If x is minus one, we need a so each value. So you are going to be substituting into the equation that you're given, which is uh, the rule that you are given. All right, so as you can see, it's just uh, uh, the same thing as our previous exercise that we had. So let's start with the number one. Number one, we are given that y is equal to 4x. That's the, this one is the rule, the 4x, it represents the rule. Where y is controlled or y is dependent of x it depends on x so we are saying if x is equal to minus 2 we substitute in place of x four times four x means four times x four times x four times minus 2 that would be minus 8 so meaning to say we are going to have a minus 8 corresponding the same thing, if our x is minus 2, we are simply substituting y is equal to 4 times x. Our x is minus 1. This time, we are at minus 1. The corresponding value is minus 1. So we are going to obtain a minus 4. So that's how you play around with this type of equation. Each and every part there. Each and every part is corresponding to a specific, a specific value. The same thing, if our x uh, so there we got a negative, uh, a negative four. All right. So we want to check again if this is a zero there. If x is a zero, you're going to substitute. So y is going to be four times our x, our x this time, that's a zero. So four times a zero, that's what? That's a zero. So meaning to say if x is a zero, y is also going to be a zero. That's how you're going to solve this. The same thing if your x is 1, y is going to be 4 times a 1. The x that you're given is a 1. For 4 times 1, that is going to be a 4. So meaning to say y will be a 4. The same thing if this is a 2, so it's going to be 4 times a 2. 4 times 2, that's 8. So this will be 8. The same thing if it's 3. 4 times 3, that's a 12. So that is how you're supposed to have these values. You are substituting into the rule 
that you are given. There is a rule that you are given there. You work with the rule that you are given. The input values, you're already given the input values. What you need are the output values for each equation. All right, so that was uh, what we had from this rule of uh, 4x when y is equal to 4x. So I'm not going to do all of these questions. I need you to try as uh, much questions uh, from this part. Make sure that you do understand each and every part uh, that you have there. Uh, it's very, very best that you do understand this part. All right. They were given number six. All right. If you're going to try, just substitute whatever that you're given. Or oh, let's save this one with a negative first. Uh, number three. So like I said, we've got X and Y from minus two up to what? From minus two up to Y, up to three. So that's one, two, three. All right. Given the rule that Y is equal to minus three X, how are we going to have the output values? Uh, given that y is equal to minus 3x. That's our rule that we are given on number three. So it simply means we have to multiply. If x is minus two, we're going to multiply y is equal to minus three times x, which is minus two. So minus minus, that will be a positive six. So you can also use your calculator there, you get a positive. If x this time is minus one, so it's minus three, times x, which is minus one, you just substitute where there was x with minus one, that was going to give you a positive three, minus minus, that's a positive. If x is a zero, that's minus three times x, which is a zero there, minus three times zero, that's a zero, which is the same thing if your x is a positive one, that will be negative three times a positive one, which is negative three. So that's how you're gonna have this uh, throughout. Minus three times x, which is our x being two. So we're going to substitute x, which is two in this case, that will give you a minus, minus six. The same thing if your x is three, substitute three, then minus three times three, that is gonna be minus nine. Just like that, you're done. So just like that, guys. Uh, so it is the same concept as our previous class. As you can see, like I said before, only that this time you're having on a table, the previous case, we had, it was like this input, then we have got the rule, then we've got the output. So it was the same thing. So they can give us the rule as minus three X, given those input minus three, minus up to, you are still having that thing. But a table is mostly used when you put many values. Like this case, you can see there are a lot of values that you're considering. So in that case, it's best that you use a table. All right, so like I said, I wanted to do question number six. Then you try other questions. Question number six, you're given y is equal to minus 8x plus 6. So this is what you're given on question number six. y is equivalent to minus 8x plus plus a 6. From the x and y uh, concept, input and output, and you're given from negative 2 up to 3, these things are not going to change. Minus 2, minus 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So you are simply going to substitute these values that you're given into the what? Into the given function or the equation that you're given. When x is a minus two, I substitute the uh, in place of x and so on, just like the previous case. All right, so y is gonna be equal to minus eight times x, our x, which is minus two. Then we add a six. So that's it. Minus eight times minus two, that will be a positive 16. Uh, plus a six, and that is gonna be uh, all right. So, if you add this, that'll be a 22. So, there, I want you to simplify this properly. Uh, you can also verify these with your calculator here. All right, let me just put a calculator so that we can be together. So, you can also verify this under exam condition, or even if you are working, guys, you know, these directed numbers may be uh, challenging to just because of pressure, this and that, you are working this, you are doing this. So you can just use your calculator. And sometimes if your mind is tired, but I don't expect your mind to be tired in grade nine. Your mind is supposed to be active always, all right? So this is a 22 there, you just have to substitute uh, direct. All right, if X is minus two, that will be Y is equal to minus eight uh, into minus one this time. So it's gonna be minus one plus a six. So the same thing, even on your calculator, you just have to move this arrow here until you get the minus two, this one. Just delete this minus, put a one, the minus one. That is going to be a 14. 
So meaning to say why there is going to be a 14, that's minus eight times minus one, which is a positive eight, eight plus uh, six, which is 14. So this is what you're going to do. Even if X is a zero there, you substitute a zero through. That means Y is going to be minus eight times a zero plus a six. So any number times zero, that's a zero there plus six, which is a six. So that's a six. If X is one, that's minus eight times one plus a six. So if you are to simplify uh, these properly, uh, meaning to say you were going to have minus eight plus six, which is minus two. So that was gonna be minus two. This one was gonna be minus 10, minus 18. So I want you to substitute when X is two, when X is three, you're going to obtain minus 10 and minus 18. So that's how they simply uh, uh, have or ask these questions. All right, let me just do this guys. All right. So if you are to check on question number C, D uh, this part, they have given you the table just like what I was doing here. So this time they will just give you the table and just that you've got a lot of values, minus nine X plus six, and you've got your values from this up to 10, do that. I want you to do that, substitute those values until you get the exact values. So I'm going to do the question D with you. On question D, if the rule of for finding Y in the table below is, this is the rule that you're given. So the rule is given as a third of X minus two. Determine the output values. Y represents output values, which is Y. For the given input values, they give you on the table the X values. These are the input. For each input, what is the corresponding output value? If X is minus three, what is the value of y? If x is nine, what is the value of y? That is the question there. So you simply uh, see that this is just a continuation of what we had in the previous case. So let's start, all right. Y is equal to a third of x, one over three x, and our x in the input is minus three. So you just substitute minus three, minus two. So a third of these, that will be minus one, three and three cancel, it's gonna have minus one. Minus one, minus two was gonna give us minus three. So meaning to say, this is also minus three. All right, let's use our calculator for the verification. See, are we in the right direction there? Uh, we're going to use our calculator. That is simply like this. Minus, uh, this is sorry, one over three. So you're gonna have one over three. So this is just gonna be one over three. Okay, my calculator is stuck, I don't know why. All right, one over three into this, all right, just one over three there, open a bracket, x, which is our x is minus three. So this is minus a three, close the bracket, we subtract a two, I'm gonna subtract a two like this. So the x, well, the y value was going to be at what? At negative three. So this is how you simply play around with this information that you're given. Just substitute exactly the values that you're given, if X is a zero, they're gonna substitute a zero in place of X. That's Y is equal to one over three of a zero minus two. One over three times a zero, any number times a zero, that's a zero there, meaning to say Y was going to be zero minus two, which is minus two. So this was going to be minus two if X is a zero. The same thing if our X is a three, only the same way that we calculated this, only that this one is now a positive. So Y was going to be one over three, into x and our x is three which is a positive three then we subtract a two so this was going to cancel get a one one times one that's a one so you've got one minus two which is minus one one minus two that's a negative one so you're going to do the same thing even this is six you substitute a six here so it was going to be one over three of a six minus two all right six divided by three that's a two Two minus two, that's what? That's a zero. So this was going to give you a zero. The same thing if X is nine, this was gonna give you a one, a two, a six, an eight, and a 22. So I want you to substitute all the corresponding values in place of X. Also use your calculator just like what I did to use a calculator in verification. You're going to see those were going to be the corresponding values that you're going to have at the end. 
So more of these questions, more of these revisions to come from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.